Hello, welcome to another video on Tile Cities from the developer of Ostra of Nice Chill. City building game based on tile placement just came out on Steam today as of recording this video. And it's available for $3 on Steam. Well worth a, uh, a look, well worth purchase. Money goes to a good person and a good cause. But we're just going to do a little bit more play here. We've got uh, some Steam achievements we can unlock at certain score thresholds. We'll see if we get there in this video. But yeah. Just taking another look at this game and seeing what other fun new stuff he's added in here. So like uh, in the past video, the objective of the game is still the same. We have all these different tiles with different colors that you have to connect. And we have these tram lines, the, uh, the little red slash brown, depending on the coloration of your screen. And the objective is to just make an interesting city layout. However you so choose got kind of some weird tiles at the start here so we're gonna we're gonna do something a little unconventional here just kind of mess with that see if we can leave a uh, little space for a triangular park so we can get that perfect fit achievement i know that's one of them i looked them up but you see here we have the uh the blue connecting here all sorts of fun with that so now we've got parks coming in i gotta find a good spot for this stuff probably put one of these Maybe right here for a big triangular piece. I know it's not going to abut anything quite yet, but it will eventually. So let's see. I think we can get away with doing one of these kind of things here. That's also part of the fun of doing something like this is you, you know it's going to be kind of strangely configured here from the beginning with all these different angled things. I think we'll go ahead and pop in that guy like so. Got another one of these. Aha. So I could do this and have this be a perfect fit for all of this, but it does have the tram line, so I don't want to necessarily waste that. So I think what we'll do, we'll just go ahead and pop this guy. Right here is probably where it's going to have to go, but then that's going to get cut off. Let's go ahead and put him like this. As part of the fun of these puzzle games like this is you never really know where something's going to fit perfectly. Sometimes you'll have something nice like this. Ah, big square. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Just so we have this set up like so. I'm going to put this guy. Let's try right there. Ah, so now we have this. We can put this here. It's going to be a perfect fit. And I got that Steam achievement right there. Uh, let's see. I... Kind of want to put this guy here, but he doesn't have a tram tram layout thing on one side. So I think we're going to go on this side. It's still going to satisfy most of those demand things. And then we have this. We could put it here, but it does have the uh, tram line on it. Could do this. This doesn't really solve anything. That doesn't really solve anything either. So I think, I think we're just going to put this here. That'll be fine like that. I put this here, should be okay. Pop that guy there, continue that tram line. This will fit nicely right here. This will fit nicely there as well. The game doesn't seem to care which orientation this is in, so we'll just do that. And now we have this we could put here. I might actually turn it around, or maybe there's another spot that's a little better. So that reduces our green demand by two. That reduces by one. So over here is actually better. I just have to decide if I want the tram line on the left or on the right. Not quite sure. I could do something like this, but then that's not going to connect right there. So that's not super, not super smart. I guess I should probably do this. So now I can just put one of these here. Yeah, see that? That's going to work really nicely right there. If, if this was just a regular square, this would work perfectly here. But no matter, we can put something else here. I think I'm going to try and wait for another tram line going up here to kind of make a circle here. Because we still don't have any uh, tram depots on any of these tiles. Those should be coming, hopefully, relatively soon. Just trying to find the best possible spot for this. That's not going to be it. That's not going to be it. Uh, probably here. Okay, so this has the tram line on two sides. So I think this might actually work well here. 
as kind of a uh, preemptive thing. Or we could put this here, maybe, or here. I'm not quite sure. This this might be the way to go. We'll do that there. Now we've got another one of these triangular pieces here, with the tram lines on two sides. So this isn't not really ideal. This probably would have been a good one for here if I hadn't already put something else there. So I think what we can do here. Since this is already connected, we'll put that there. Ah, okay, so this has a tram depot in it. And the way everything is configured right now, there's not really a lot of great spots to put this. So I think what we'll do, if we put this here, it's going to satisfy a lot of this demand. It's also going to link up to all of this. So I think that's probably going to be what we need to do. And then we can come around this side. Try to find a spot, because I want to connect all of this together. Try and get everything in one system. But that's probably going to be pretty hard. So we'll see exactly what we're able to do. This, I mean, this is just ugly right here. And if I put this here, it's going to look kind of strange. I could do this, but I don't think that's going to be, I don't think that's going to be what we want. Of course, this doesn't line up. So it might actually, I hate to have so many parks so close to each other, but that might actually be the best place to put things, especially considering how all of this is laid out. So if we do, actually, this could work if I do this, because that will keep this going straight down. So let's do that. Um, this, I mean, kind of obviously would fit here, but I don't think that's a fantastic use of space, especially considering this already has a tram line on it. So I think what we'll do instead, we could put this here, but that just increases demand for everything by one. And this doesn't go, doesn't increase park demand. Plus this lines up with our existing thing. So let's do that. Now I've got a choice regarding tram line here. If I do this, then this will uh, connect with the tram line there. And then we have this triangular piece here. And I don't necessarily have to have the tram lines going up both sides of the outside of this. But if I did that would connect there, that would be kind of nice, but I don't think that's the best spot to put that anyway. So this actually looks pretty good right here. Same, uh, same stance as that guy, but it does kind of break stuff up and it has the uh, tram line go this way as well. So we'll do that. And then I think the obvious choice here is either here or here to kind of complete this whole loop. And this doesn't raise the orange demand if I put it there, but if I put it here, it raises all four. So let's do that. We have this little square here. Uh, we'll just pop that guy right there. We've got another one of these guys right here. So we could do this. Or we could go ahead and do that. I think even though it raises all four, it does give us an extension of the tram line. So I think that's going to be our power play right there. We've got this guy. Um, we do have this option right here. Our purple is getting dangerously high, but there's not really anything I can do about that. I can put this here to lower the orange and raise everything else. Or this keeps orange the same and raises everything else. I think if we're going to raise everything else regardless, we should go here. Okay, this is good. This is a piece I wanted because now I can square this off. And this also lowers our purple if I put it there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We have another square. Easy, easy choice. Goes right there. Ah, this is going to be interesting. I think, I think right here is pretty much the only real viable option given the geography of everything else going on. So we'll put that guy there. Oh, this is perfect. Look at this. Look at this. We got another tram depot and this will connect this entire system together. Perfect. Wonderful. So now we have to uh, keep our purple demand in check. So let's look for another spot. Oh, okay. This is actually really good right here. Do that. Mm, I wish this was the other way around because that would fit perfectly there. Uh, okay, this doesn't line up. All right, so we're going to have to get a little creative here. I think if there's going to be a way to lower the purple, we oh, wow, look at this. 
Okay, so normally I wouldn't want to put this here because it's going to cut off this tram line, but it's already all connected anyway. And this lowers our purple by three. So let's do that. And then we're going to come down here with this piece and try to find a way to extend tram line here. Actually, this is looking pretty good if I do that. It lowers the blue by two. I think that's going to be what we want. And then we can put another part here that will close that off and that'll be fine. Looking good. I have not seen this piece before in all of my playing off, uh, off recording here. Huh? Well, actually this would have been a really great piece maybe to put here, but obviously we can't do that anymore. So now we have to find a spot where we want to create another weird little layer thing. So that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Cause I can't really butt it up against anything. I, I could do this, but I don't know. That's just kind of strange. So if we go ahead and put this here, I think that's probably one of the better spots to put it. Okay. Uh, that doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit there. This doesn't really fit anywhere. So I think that's going to be another example of just, you know, kind of shove it somewhere and see if it works. If I can get it to lower anything, instead of raise everything, I don't think so. Don't think so. So if I put this here, probably getting kind of big here. I think I can put this guy here and be okay. Or if I move him somewhere else. Honestly, that's most of this game is just trying to figure out what the optimal placement of stuff is. I think it's going to be slightly better here. So we'll do that. We're going to do... Okay, see, this is, a, this is a good piece right here. This is a very good piece because it's got on two sides the tram lines. And I was going to have a spot for it, but I think I filled it. So what we'll do instead... I think I can get away with that. Might not be the most ideal location for that. Hmm. Oh, okay. This will work. Our park demand is getting pretty high, but I think that should be okay. Still we'll do that. Um, I think we're going to want just put, okay. That's going to have our park demand be really high. But that would, would extend our, uh, our thing here. I mean, I can't just, I can't just stop at 63 points. I gotta, I gotta at least break a hundred for this video. Uh, so if I do this, it raises everything else. I think this might might have to be what I end up doing here. Especially if I, I mean, I have to have it connect to a park. It's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, actually, if I rotate this, that might actually be ideal. Because then it keeps that line going. We'll do, oh, wow, look at this. Three-sided. Okay. So now we have a similar problem from earlier. I could do this, but that's going to cause a lot of problems with park demand. So I just, I just wish this was a little bit more connected here. Uh, it's going to raise the purple demand super high. See, now you, now you see the late game strategy here. Well, late game, as far as like the progress I've made, I know, I think the steam achievements go up to what a thousand points, which that's going to take a long time, a lot longer than I have time for in this video. But it seems to me that I need to find somewhere that is adjacent to purple and parks, but I don't think any of those slots exist. So we're just going to have to hope that I can figure out somewhere else to put stuff. Because this is otherwise not going to go super great. Uh, I don't think I want to do that because that's going to leave this area unbuildable, but I can do this. Okay. Is there a way? Any of these lower purple? I don't think they do. I think I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to do something like this. Obviously not ideal. Oh, 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 oh. I got something like this. That is promising. That's very good. Um, I think, because I just I have so many parks right next to each other. I think this is good. 
Okay, so now I've got another one of these. Can I fit this somewhere where it's actually going to lower? I can't put this here. I can put it here, 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 here. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go up here. I wish I had existing tram network to connect to, but I don't. I don't have that there. But this would help my park demand, so we'll go ahead and just do that. Then I've got, oh, look how perfect this is. Look how perfect this is. Wonderful. Okay, so this has purple. We've got to find, got to find somewhere to lower purple demand. But I, I guess it doesn't care. Okay, so this raises blue and orange. This raises orange and green. This raises, okay. I think, I think it's probably best to do this. Okay, more purple. I guess, I guess the game just doesn't care. All right. Where else? Uh, I could, oh, okay. This is the power play right here. Look, look how much that lowers it, the uh, purple. And well, it lowers everything except green. So that's fine. We'll do that again. Um, this probably isn't the best place to put this, but it does continue our, uh, things here. And I can get that to jog over. So I'll do that. Got more purple here. Uh, looks like that's going to be the move for that. All right. So I don't have any, uh, perfect 45 degree angles right now. Most of them, I think might be 30, 30 or 60, depending on how you want to look at it. So we'll need to find a spot for this guy. Could be something like that. That raises purple though. So I need to find ideally some way of not raising that. So it's probably going to have to go. I wonder if I could do this. Okay. That's actually might work right there. All right. So then we've got, looks like this might work. Oh, okay. This is a much, much better place for me to put that. That works. All right. I've got another one of these pieces. Could work here. But it's going to raise purple again. So. Uh, okay, that raises purple by one and green by one. Hmm. This might actually work better here. Let's do that. Okay, now we've got another one of these. I could put this here. That actually might be the best spot for it. Let's check here. I think I think this is what we want. Let's do that. Then we've got another one of these park pieces. Boy, there sure are a lot of them. I wonder if... I can't really put this here because there's not going to be a piece that will close this. So I should probably leave this open for another uh, rotation of that guy. So that being said, I think... I think, I think we might want to just do something like this to extend that uh, tram line. Okay, and this guy's got more more trams. So if I do this, so that raises purple. That doesn't. We'll do that. Oh, look at this! I've not seen this shape before. That's kind of strange. And it doesn't match any of these. Oh, it matches that actually. I think that's probably going to be the best place for this to go presently that would fit there but that's kind of weird looking we'll go ahead and we'll put this here okay so this is an entire block of blue do i have anywhere this will fit i don't think i do that is a shame so i think I'm gonna have to really get creative here i could do this that's gonna leave a weird oh Okay, so this actually is good right here. We'll do that. Um, that guy doesn't make a ton of sense there. This could actually work here. Um, that's not bad. Not bad. I just, I wish the tra tram line was on the, the short side, or one of the shorter sides. Because that fits nicely there. It just doesn't, doesn't solve any of my logistical problems yet. Uh, 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 I haven't done anything over here in a while, but I haven't really had anything good to put over there. I think in the interest of closing this off, I'll put that there. Then we got this guy. Could work well here, except it's going to put our park demand up very, very high. 
So if we go in and do, I have something here. I, I guess, I guess we could do this. Not ideal, but it's better than uh, a lot of the uh, alternatives here. Are these any better? I think, I think this might be the way to go. It's a little strange looking, but we'll, uh, we'll live with that. Okay. And then this is just really not going to fit super well in any of these spots here. Hmm. Now, if I do that, that kind of works. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can I fit? No, none of these. See, this isn't bad, except then it makes my park demand at maximum. It's like the, the little widget coming out of the corner is a little bit too... Ooh, that's very tempting. It's not going to end the game as soon as it gets up here. It does take a little bit longer, so we'll do that. And then, okay, so this actually looks... It looks like that. Oh, okay. That might be it if we do that there. Yeah, that's going to be it right there. Okay, big park piece. That could work there. That might be our best spot. Yeah, let's do that. We have a wedge park that... Oh, okay, that might work. Might work there, or we could do up here. Okay, that lowers one. That also lowers one that kind of fits better. We'll do that. Another square park. We could do a rectangle, I guess. Shapes are hard. Um, hmm. That works kind of nicely there. Just a regular square guy here with a tram line on one side. So if we do this, that will connect there. If we do this, that'll connect to that as well. Let's do that. Got another one of these strangely shaped uh, long side triangles here. I think, I think we can do this. Maybe that might be better. That lowers... Does that even lower anything, or does it just raise? Yeah, it raises everything by one. Never mind. I can't, can't see apparently. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to do something like this, but I know I'm never going to fill this slot. So if we do that, I don't think there's really a great spot to put this at all. Honestly, everything just raises by one. Hmm. All right. So I guess now we just have to kind of pick which part of the map we want to have a kind of a weird appearance for the next. Next little bit of time. Oh, actually. This, if I go adjacent to a park, doesn't look terrible. It just, uh, it's going to be kind of strange. Let's do... Hmm. Let's just do one of these. Okay, so we got a tram line on one of the short sides. I can put this here. And that would connect all of that. That looks good. All right. So I don't have anywhere to put to put this. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, I could do that. That is going to max up my blue. And again, I don't have don't really have anywhere to put this. So I think the name of the game is going to be finding part of the tram network that we want to expand. Actually, this could work. Leaves us a nice big uh, triangle space there and connects the rest with the trams. All right, so this guy is going to be... I think for the time being, all of our tram lines are still connected outside of this one little piece right here. So we could, could put this guy here or here. But if we put him here, he's going to be connected to the blue, which I think is going to be a smarter move overall. Or we could even do something like this. Let's do that. Okay, we, now we have another right triangle here. Um, that's going to be impossible to fill if I do that. If I do that, I have to wait on another one of these weird triangle pieces. But I think that might be the most equitable raise of all of the demand levels. Um, oh, actually, this looks pretty good, but it does orphan that, that stretch of trim right there. And this is actually just as good. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do that. Got another one of these guys right here. I think that's probably a pretty obvious choice to put that there. 
uh, square park. That's good right there. Okay, this guy wants orange, I guess. Hmm. This is slightly better here. We'll do that. Got another one of these. Okay, so I can actually put this here, except he's going to raise demand for everything else. So can I? No, that's not going to work. That maxes out orange. See, we, we're going to have to get really creative with our uh, our stuff here because we're going to get into some trouble really quick if we are not careful. I could do this. This actually, you know, that I think that might be the best one. We'll do that. Okay, this, that would really get us in trouble there. Oh, fully maxed out. That would be certain death. But I don't know that there's really anywhere better. That's looking pretty promising, actually, right there. We're going to have to see if there's something better than that. I think that might be it. That's the same as up here. Um, oh, this one actually... Okay. So I didn't know that was going to be game over, but just shy of the 100 points. It's very, very easy to lose, lose uh, what was this, 30 minutes playing a fun little uh, relaxing puzzle building game. But yeah, lots of fun. Go check it out. It's, it's $3. Just pick it up. It's a really, really fun way to kill a few minutes and challenge your mind. But again, thank you so much for watching. We've got more Ostrov content coming soon. I promise. I know I've been saying for a while, but we are working on more stuff. I'm probably going to be streaming Ostrov either here on YouTube or on Twitch sometime in the next couple of days. And I might also stream some tile cities. So if you don't already follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jcthebeard, please go over there and check that out. Drop a follow. It's free and you'll get notified whenever I go live. And of course, I'll try to do something on YouTube soon as well. But again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.